You're watching News 4 at 5. We're back now at 530. Medical professionals in Virginia are anticipating an influx of out-of-state patients once new tighter restrictions to abortion access go into effect in neighboring states. Last week, South Carolina's governor signed a six-week abortion ban into law. July 1st, North Carolina's 12-week ban goes into effect. Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder has more on what all of this means for Virginians. Virginia is the southernmost state that hasn't changed its abortion laws since the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade, though advocates warn tighter restrictions elsewhere could spell negative consequences in the Commonwealth. Abortion access is being devastated across the South, and Virginians are at risk of losing the right to reproductive freedom. Virginia allows a woman access to an abortion until early in the third trimester, and an influx of out-of-state women are expected to travel here once stricter laws take effect in neighboring states. A study by nonprofit Society of Family Planning, which advocates for abortion rights, found that abortion rose by 37 percent in North Carolina in the two months after Roe was overturned, triggering tighter restrictions in neighboring Georgia. And we anticipate that there will be increased wait times for Virginians seeking care as a result of these bans in other states. According to a study compiled by NIH and published last year, longer wait times increase risks of maternal mortality, especially among black and Hispanic women. The stakes are just too high. We cannot let this happen in Virginia. Virginia Democrats are stressing that women's reproductive rights are on the ballot this November when every seat in the state legislature is up for re-election. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin proposed a 15-week ban that fell flat in a state Senate committee when a fellow Republican and practicing OBGYN said she wanted to vote for the bill but without an exception for up to 24 weeks for fetuses with severe abnormalities, she couldn't. Without that exception, I'm going to have to vote to PBI the bill. PBI meaning pass by indefinitely, but Yunkin has said he will pursue his 15-week ban with some exceptions again. He would certainly have an easier path through the General Assembly if Republicans win full control of the state house later this year. Reporting in Northern Virginia, Drew Wilder, News 4. North Carolina's 15-week ban takes effect July 1st. South Carolina's six-week ban became law once it was signed last week, but it was paused the next day due to a lawsuit that's challenging it.